now with great reverence to the presence of God that is here please take your seats i believe that it is time for the wealth of the wicked to come into the hands of the righteous gone are the days where the church will have to wait for projects god is going to raise businessmen business women in the church that will come and plead with your pastor please do not announce this project because i want to single handedly sponsor the entire project let that person be you in jesus mighty name it's happened it's happened so we want to believe god that god will release that finance into your hands i want you to tell the lord lord it has to be me not not somebody else it has to be me the reason why you're not saying amen is because you don't have faith we are kingdom people everything god gives <laughs> is not for us it is for him we are kingdom people we are living in a king's domain we the church is not weak yeah what did i say the church is not oh persecution persecution are yaar you allowed the persecution there is a kingdom of force john's head came in a plate when the king saw that it pleased people they said ah let's take the head of who peter but the church said time out church said what he said whoa, whoa 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 relax bro i know you took one guy we thought is so nice so sweet he died for jesus but peter we we need him huh he, he just now he got a prophecy on his life on this rock i shall build the church but the guy didn't even start his ministry before that his head is on a plate they started praying for peter why didn't they say oh it is the will of god let him suffer why didn't they say yeah, by peter we are so happy for you that you're going to suffer for jesus please when you meet jesus say hello to him from us no they said it's not time we will decide when we want to suffer but now it is not time to die now it is time to live and see his glory the church is not weak do you know who your god is even if they wanted to kill jesus he need to give them permission that's your jesus and that jesus lives inside of you and you are worried about what doctor said hey no even cancer needs your permission ah you didn't hear me i said cancer needs your permission church is not weak who sold a weak church to you the church today is not weak we are a kingdom of power we are the one stopping antichrist jesus didn't die to raise a weak church in order to kill jesus they needed his permission they needed him to allow them to first see because you see when they came and they said we're looking for jesus you know what jesus said he turned to them and said it is i do you know what happened that was his business card they say aap yeshu masi hai kya it's like ha huh. the moment he said ha huh, the bible says they were thrown away because you see they were searching for jesus but they did not have a revelation of jesus 
a revelation has to be given to you from god so they were seeking jesus but they did not have the capacity to see him until he revealed himself to them he said yes it is i when the revelation hit them they could not stand before him anymore my goodness they needed his permission to even capture him they cannot capture you without the permission i'm hearing in the spirit there is a verse in, in the book of job it says to the proud waves he speaks up to here you may come god keeps a boundary he the two you may come but no more one more time he the two you may come but no more god is looking at the church and saying you are not weak the church needs to renew their mind they could not kill jesus even after crucifying him on the cross on the cross with nails why was jesus on the cross with nails because of the command hitherto you may come hitherto you may come there is a command child of god there is a command over your spirit some of the things that you're facing right now don't worry there is a command over those waves you need to look at the waves and laugh because the bible says he that sits on the throne he laughs yes <laughs> somebody laughed yeah you need to look at the waves and laugh are what can you do even your wave has an expiry date on it the church is not weak i said the church is not weak job 38 and verse 11 aha uh-huh. and said thus far shall you come uh-huh. and no farther ha uh-huh. thus far you shall come and no farther and not no further i don't know if you can hear god tonight if you can hear god you respond with god i'm prophesying to every single person listening to my voice whether you are in this building or watching wherever you're watching from god is speaking this verse over you one more time man of god thus far shall you come uh-huh. and no farther aha uh-huh. and here shall your proud waves be stayed Oof. and here here inge illi either ah zambro wala ivda vera kyu you proud waves can come up to here but you proud waves here you have to stop in the name of Jesus the church is rising with power receive this word into your spirit the jesus in you not the jesus on the right hand side of the father but the jesus in you can be weakened by the sermon you hear the church is not weak this jesus that you serve they put him on the cross only because he allowed that wave to do that it was by permission that he had to die on the cross so god allowed it the nails that went into his hand needed permission to penetrate you're telling me that it could penetrate his hands if he didn't allow the iron that they used to make the nails is looking at the master you think the master cannot tell the iron oh i'm just changing your structure <laughs> eh? i made you but now you shall become like wax so they'll try to nail him with what the iron that went into his hand needed his permission to remain as an iron are you getting what i'm saying 
the horses and chariots that are pursuing you right now they need the permission of God to push ah child of God are you listening to me even the enemy that is pursuing you right now needs permission to pursue you <laughs> the devil that is pursuing you right now needs permission so god is saying oh you proud waves hither to you may come chalo let's have some fun hither to that hither to you may come is you may reach the red sea but the door that i have opened it may look like it is for you but it's not for you the door that i've opened is for the people of god to escape if you enter that door that is not your door the door that saved somebody is the door that will bury you because the church is not weak i said the church is not weak hither to you may come God has kept a, a boundary he has kept a boundary he has kept a boundary <laughs> while he stays on the cross they try to see let's let's see how to kill him but yet Jesus need to commit his spirit to the father sit down he had to what commit his spirit to the father he had to say father i commit my spirit into your hands they cannot kill you until you allow them to please hear me and hear me well what i'm telling you i'm taking you to from the scripture and it was only then jesus died when he said okay i'm ready to die now i commit my spirit then he died do you know who you are you and i we are the body of christ you can't die child of god <laughs> you can't die when the doctor says did you hear me I said you can't die when the doctor says you can't die because your cousin doesn't believe in you you can't die because your friends don't like you you can't die because your enemies are pursuing after you you will die when you decide to die you are the body of Christ you are the body of Christ you need to tell the devil not on my watch you need to tell the devil not unless i say repeat after me unless i say the enemy will always try to persecute the church always there are dimensions that are available to us that if we are able to access it we will have such power on earth than we have believed ourselves to have there is a glorification of suffering where we have laid ourselves down and allowed people to step over us now the elements that are working against now they know christians are weak huh christians are weak because their god said you you still get slap here you show the yeah they they weak but there is a place where you say you can slap me but you proud waves this is the line you can slap me no problem but there is a line where i'm drawing don't don't forget that the lamp of god is also the So that means you have to ask the question when is he a lamb 
and when he is he, is he a lion that means he chooses for you to allow him to persecute him it is a choice yesterday somebody was asking me about this he said when is it a betrayal huh judas betrayed christ judas betrayed christ this is written from our perspective but if you ask jesus do you think he's like <laughs> my disciple he betrayed me you think you think jesus didn't know he was going to betray when jesus saw this guy he already knew the spirit of betrayal is on him he can sense that this is the one that is going to cause him not just sense no that this is the one that is going to but jesus was not afraid of betrayal so he said come chalo come i'm going to anoint you and i'm going to make you an apostle you know it's going to be very difficult for you to locate me if you're not part of my team so i'm going to make you my team member huh? and then i see that you 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 really like money so i'm making you my treasure yeah 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 and you're telling me that jesus feel betrayed by him no jesus knew he's going to betray him are you understanding it's a betrayal when you didn't expect it when you thought your committee member loves you huh and you thought they are so loyal he doesn't know the spelling of loyal huh that is why the bible says he knew what was in man so when they came and praised jesus jesus didn't care about his praise because he knows friday they'll praise me and sunday they'll shout crucify so jesus ignored them because he knew what was in men he you cannot surprise jesus Are you following what I'm saying? It is only betrayal when you're surprised. You are hurt because you had an expectation. You thought they are going to be nice to you. And they were not nice. And now you are hurt. But what happens when you know they're going to betray you and you said come 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit next to me. No 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 don't don't go that far. Come sit next to me. And you give them the chair. Then when they stab you it is not betrayal. because you have decided you proud waves hither to you may come you're not a victim you're a victor my sister why are you shocked by your husband huh why are you hurt by your friends why are you heartbroken because of your family member why because you put an expectation you thought oh they love me so much you sure <laughs> i think they just love your shoes <laughs> i think they love your job more than they love you huh you put an expectation in them and therefore now you're heartbroken you're disappointed but you need to know something even the worst enemy that was your best friend that waves has an expiry date you cannot come down because of a friend you shall not fall because of somebody that was in your life that hurt you child of god you're not finished david's will always rise your soul is not a limitation ah did you hear what i'm saying a soul a king soul in your life is not a limitation to the grace of god that is on your life If you don't realize this you will lie down and you will get ready to die. I bring a prophetic word to you. There is an element that happens in the realms of the spirit that you need to be aware of. 
when a giant falls in the realms that giant has to be replaced and how he is replaced is whoever kills him takes his place so david you may be small in stature but the moment you kill goliath his sword now becomes your sword so they take the sword of goliath and they come and give it to david the david is is carrying this sword is so heavy for him because it's it, it was made for a giant but he is so short in stature physically but they know spiritually he is qualified to hold that sword <laughs> child of god whatever try to kill you <laughs> you're taking its place in jesus name you need to be very happy if a principality is fighting you some of you are sad <laughs> huh? you're like oh you 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 know why you have to be sad if a little devil is fighting you i know who ah, i wish you're listening to me i said do you know who you are so if the principality is fighting you let him fight let him fight because soon you will be becoming the principality you have to thank the lord for the principality that is fighting you <laughs> oh he who sits in heaven laughs <laughs> Uh, I sit in heaven so I love Your time for crying is over <laughs> Ah my sister you were crying not because the problem was real You were crying because the problem was real in your head And tonight I am sent by the Lord to expose that If the principality is fighting you need to give a bigger offering <laughs> because now you know soon by the end of this fight there can be only one standing ah did you hear that there can be only one standing <laughs> and you will be the one found standing those that kneel before the lord cannot fall before the sons of men i said you will be the one found standing hello hello greetings from canada we are so glad that you could join us on this program i hope that the word you just heard right now has blessed and transformed your life as you heard this word i know that this word will continue to challenge you and provoke you to grow closer to him to push through every obstacles that is stopping you and you shall overcome and have victory in jesus name write to us and let us know where you're watching from and if you want to listen to the full sermon download the shaiju matthew app which is available both on ios and android until we meet again god bless you all and shalom Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 